to go over there too. Yeah, so do I. No, I like going the back way like by our boys. Really? Really? You yeah. go that far? I have never seen this dynamic where so many Olympians live together. I thought it was going to be a big deal when Pang and Jordan decided to live together. And then all of a sudden, Sam's moving in. I was like, whoa, it is a reality show. This is the true story, true story. of three gymnasts Friends. who picked to live in a house after competing in the Olympics. Perfect. Got it. An American gold medalist. I'll give you another. An American silver medalist. Oh my God. And a Canadian. Let's have great day. They are students at UCLA, and here is their story. The real world, UCLA gymnastics. We all come from such different places, so I think it's pretty cool that we were able to go from that to being on the same team to our apartment and just be like the best of friends. Sam is maniacal. Whatever she's going to do, she's going to do it the best and she's going to win. Every time she gets up on the beam, she hits a routine the best to her ability. Patrick eats pressure for breakfast. Pang is one of the most fun athletes I've ever coached. Christine Pang Pang Lee. She's clutch. She can sing, she can play the guitar, she cooks, she's really great at nail art. The list goes on at like just how talented that she is. Wow. Leading up to the 2012 Olympics, Jordan Weaver went pro and gave up her collegiate athletic eligibility. But even after winning a gold medal in London, she still wanted the student athlete experience. So I called Miss Val and said, is there any way that I could still go professional and come to UCLA and be a part of the team? And the guy said, Jordan, absolutely. You know, we will find something for you. I'm still part of the team, but I take more of a manager type role. To have our young girls that are in the stands see a gold medalist moving mats, chalking bars, having a servant's heart towards her, her fellow teammates. What an incredible life lesson for them of how you can be great and still be humble. Four years before Jordan won gold with Team USA in London, Sam was part of the silver medal winning 2008 team in Beijing. When I was five years old, I watched the 1996 Olympics, and when they won gold in Atlanta, that was what jump-started my dream to wanting to go to the Olympics. I'm like getting chills talking about it. Watching the girls in the 96 team on TV and then being there myself, it, it's like deja vu. It, it just hit me that my dream was coming true. A member of the 2012 Canadian team, Peng's Olympic experience was a little different. I got injured right at Olympic trials, and so I was unable to compete at the Olympics, and I was devastated, but the national coach called me, and she asked me to be the honorary team captain. I just was overjoyed that I could even go and still be a part of the team, even though I wasn't competing. I think just being able to wear an American flag on your leotard and go out there and represent your entire country, that's just the craziest experience, but so cool. Iron really does sharpen iron, and the three of them make each other better. That's why we're gonna help you with it. Oh my God! Knowing so much about each other and how to be friends and how to you know, lift each other up when we're down really speaks to how much, how close we are and how, how much we just want each other to do well, not only in gymnastics and in school, but in life. <laughs> 